Wednesday morning, two meteorologist Travis Klineski. We've seen a couple of spotty showers across northern Kansas and southwest Nebraska already this morning. That's where our best chance of rain will be today, and that's where we'll see the thickest cloud cover today. Meanwhile, I expect more sun to the northeast. Uh, that'll lead to warmer temperatures in the northeast compared to the southwest. Heading into tonight, still a chance of rain off to the southwest this evening, but a better chance into the Tri-Cities area after midnight tonight. A few showers and storms possible for south central and the southeast Nebraska, northern Kansas. We're going to start off tomorrow still with a lot of clouds around during the first half of the day. Notice more breaks in the clouds off towards the west will lead to warmer 80s out west, 70s still in central and eastern Nebraska. And towards the end of the afternoon and into the evening, a trough moving through could spark off some new showers and thunderstorms starting out west and then making their way through the area overnight, Thursday night. I'll take this through about midnight Thursday night towards early Friday morning as some showers and storms will on, be gone, ongoing in eastern Nebraska through the first hours of early Friday morning. Those will skew off to the east though. We'll see plenty of sunshine and dry conditions for your Friday with warmer temperatures eventually moving in. But with that round that comes through Thursday evening, there is a chance of some severe weather for pretty much anybody. Every, everybody within the sound of my voice here within the local Fort viewing area is under a marginal threat of severe weather, but there's actually a higher slight risk of severe weather in the yellow shaded areas near and north of Interstate 80 in central Nebraska and up into part a good chunk of uh, South Dakota. Now your biggest threats as of right now look to be large hail, maybe some damaging wind gusts, not a big tornado threat, but I think hail is probably your biggest threat out of these storms, but eventually maybe wind becoming somewhat of a threat as well. Well temperatures for today, warmest again north and east with more sunshine, partly to mostly sunny up north low to mid-70s, most of you around 74 or so. Out west, though, thicker cloud cover going to lead those cooler readings, mid to upper 60s and lower 70s with a chance of some showers. Northern Kansas will be held down temperature-wise because of extra clouds, upper 60s to around 70, a chance of some showers there. Tri-Cities will stay dry with temperatures low to mid-70s, a little bit more sunshine sneaking through. More sun to the east, leading to even warmer conditions with highs in the mid-70s for the most part. Well, as we go through the next seven days, tomorrow we inch those temperatures up despite quite a bit of cloud cover for most of the day. Again, we have that 50-50 chance of some late night shower and thunderstorm activity tonight. Still about a 30% chance tomorrow morning and then a slight chance tomorrow evening. And that tomorrow evening chance is where we get that severe weather threat. We'll dry it out for Friday. Lots of sun, mid to upper 80s for highs. And then a little toastier for Saturday. Highs in the lower 90s. And there is a chance, a slight chance of rain and thunderstorms Saturday night into Sunday morning. Sunday, a few extra clouds around holding temperatures down a little bit. Still fairly warm out there, a little bit above average. Another, another slight chance of rain and thunderstorms Sunday night and a very early Monday. And then another slight chance on Tuesday. And temperatures will stay around that 90 degree mark for early next week. Uh, there are signs that looks like we may cool back a little bit. Although forecast models, there's a timing issue when, 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 with when exactly we'll cool back sometime towards the middle or end of next week. So maybe not quite so warm temperatures. Probably still low in mid 80s, but maybe not as close to 90 degrees as what many of those days will be there Saturday through Tuesday. So there you go. There's your forecast for today. Until next time, I'm meteorologist Travis Klineski. I'll see you all bright and early 7 o'clock on your Thursday morning. Until then, God bless. Bye.